to check it or you want me to? I'm too nervous. You do it. No, Sylvia. I'm saying shit because it's negative. Shit! Oh, shit. I can't shit, believe oh, shit. this. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Can you say something besides oh shit? I happen to be upset. How the hell do you expect me to react? I don't need this right now. You? What about me? I'm on the verge of making partner at the firm. I can't be pregnant right now. Oh, there you go. Talking about that damn job again. That's all you ever talk about. I'm about to make partner. I'm on the partnership track. Well, pardon me for having some ambition. You know, I happen to be proud of my success. I didn't bust my ass in law school for nothing. Now, don't you get mad at me because I have a career that matters and all your broke ass has is a job that barely pays the bills. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means exactly what I just said. You can't afford a kid right now. Hell, I'm helping your ass pay child support for the three you already have. And I told you I was going to pay you back every dime of that money, yeah, too. Yeah, whatever. You see, that's exactly why I didn't want to borrow any money from you in the first place. Oh, I know you. I knew it would just be a matter of time before you threw it back in my face. Besides, if somebody had stayed on a pill, we wouldn't be in this mess. Oh, no, no. You are not going to blame this one on me. Now, I told you I was getting off of the pill and we needed to start using condoms again. But every time we get ready to make love, all you do is beg not to use one. Just like a man. Yeah, well, I didn't have to do too much begging because you didn't put up any resistance. Just like a woman. You know what? Tammy was right about you. I should have left your free love ass a long time ago. Yeah, well, my mama was right. I should have got rid of your stuck up ass a long time ago. Oh, please. Your mama was just worried that somebody was going to steal away her precious poo boo. I mean, what kind of name is that anyway for a grown ass man? I'm sure it was cute when you were like three, but she needs to let that shit go. See, that's the problem. She needs to let you grow up. You a mama's boy. You need to get up off your mama's flabby titties and be a real man. That's probably why your wife left you. See, that's what your problem is right there. You talk too damn much. Hey, bitch, you gonna watch your mouth talking about my mama. Bitch! Yeah, bitch. Biatch. B-I-itch. Take your pick. I got your bitch. If I'm a bitch, then your mammy's a bitch. Oh, you don't want me to get on your sorry ass mama. Go on, Donovan, get on her. Yeah, that's just what I thought, because ain't a damn thing you can say about my mother. Oh, I can say she's a uppity alcoholic bitch that looks down her nose at anybody that makes less money than she does. Oh, but she's the one that's addicted to wine, plastic surgery, and pain pills. No, you didn't just <laughs> bring up my mother's problems with her painkillers. Oh, don't forget about the plastic surgery. <laughs> I mean, what kind of black woman is addicted to plastic surgery anyway? My mother has never had plastic surgery a day in her life. <laughs> Your mother is the one who needs it. Oh, and she can use a perm, too, with a fat ass. You know what? That's probably why your daddy sleeps in the den. Oh, no, you didn't just go there. My parents have been married for 35 years, and your mama's on her third... No, your mama's on her fourth husband. And you and all your sisters got different daddies. So what's that say about your drunk-ass mama? So what? At least me and my sisters... They're all strong, successful women with brilliant careers, which is more than I can say about any of your mama's seven kids. You see, three of your brothers are in jail. Your sister Sharice is strung out. And you want to talk about my family? I ain't 
ain't playing with you, Sylvia. You keep your mouth off my sister or- Or what? Fuck you, Sylvia. No, fuck you, Donovan. I'm tired of you and that smart-ass mouth of yours. Well, if you're so tired of me, why don't you go get one of them dumb bras you used to mess with before you met me? Yeah, maybe I will. Good. Go ahead. Maybe I already have. Good. You know what? Maybe you two will live happily ever after. Maybe she'll help you pay your child support. You know what? Better yet, why don't you bring her to my place so I can thank her for taking your raggedy ass off of my hands? Maybe you already know her. Maybe I already know her. So you really been cheating on me? I have been working my ass off to help you pay your child support, cooking your dinners, doing your laundry, and you've been running around on me? So who is it? You couldn't handle it? I can handle it, Donovan. I'm a big girl. Now come on, let's be adults about this. I'm not gonna get mad. You're right. Tell me, Donovan. Yeah, you don't wanna know? Who is it? Tell me, who is the bitch? It's Tammy. There, you satisfied? Tammy? I'm here carrying your baby, and you're telling me that you've been sleeping with my best friend? Is that what you're telling me? Hey, I said you wouldn't be able to handle it. So how long has this been going on? Long enough. How could you do this to me? After everything that I've done for you, what did I do to deserve this? Oh, don't play the victim, Sylvia. I am the victim. Whatever. You never respected me or this relationship. Don't you dare try to justify your actions by saying I never respected our relationship. It's true. What? You always acted like I wasn't good enough for you. You were ashamed of me or something. That is total bullshit, and you know it. I mean, even if that was true, that doesn't give you the right to cheat on me. And with my best friend? Well, maybe if you spent more time tending to your man instead of snuggling up with those legal briefs, I wouldn't have had to go elsewhere. Well, maybe if you had anything worth tending to, I would. But since we're uh, being honest, I got a little confession of my own to make. Yeah, well, whatever it is, I don't even want to hear it. Oh, you're going to hear this. Do you remember last Valentine's Day when you stayed out all night drinking? Probably with that tramp. And you came to my house at 3 in the morning like nothing ever happened? Yeah, I cannot forget. You bring it up every time you get mad. Oh, I guess you're going to tell me you are out creeping with somebody now, huh? No, I'm not the whore. No, I have way too much respect for myself to do something like that. But I will tell you that someone placed an anonymous call to your job informing your supervisor that he might want to piss test your weed-smoking ass. You did what? I sure did. So you're the reason I lost my job? No, you're the reason you lost your job. Woman, I was on that job for 10 years, and I was making good money. And I got a job that barely allows me to pay rent. Just because you got mad that I stood you up on Valentine's Day? Mm-hmm, you damn right. Oh, that's low, Sylvia. That's just low. Yeah, I cheated on you. Yeah, I can admit that. But I would never do anything to jeopardize your livelihood. What do you call sleeping with Tammy's whorish ass and then sleeping with me without protection? I mean, do you have any idea how many men she sleeps with? Did you even use a condom with her? Maybe. Maybe not. You know what, Donovan? You just really ain't shit. You know what, I should have left your sorry ass right where I found you. Yeah, I would have been better off. Wish I never met your psycho ass. Now I gotta worry about taking care of another baby. Can't afford another kid. Thanks to you. Even if you still had that other job, you couldn't afford another child right now. You were struggling when I met you. I mean, if anything, I upgraded your ass. Shit, I'm the one with the real problems. I have to hide this pregnancy for the next three months before the partnership vote. If the partners find out I'm pregnant, they will never vote me in. Really? Well, baby, I ought to just call up there and give them an anonymous tip. You wouldn't. Why wouldn't I? All right. Mm -hmm. 
you just go ahead and do that. And I will call the IRS, I'll call Child Support Services and your ex-wife and tell them you've been working a part-time job and getting paid under the table. Hey, do what you gotta do. You know what? Me and my baby, we don't need you. No, I can afford to take care of this baby all by myself. Good, you do that. So that's it? You don't even care if you see your own child? You know what? No, 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 hell no. You taking care of this baby. I didn't make this baby by myself, and I ain't taking care of it by myself. Just wait till I get your black ass into court for some child support. You wouldn't get much. I don't need much. It's enough to keep your black ass broke with suit me just fine. Well, hey, you do what you got to do, but uh, can you leave, please? Because Tammy's on her way over, <laughs> and she don't like me having those stuck-up bitches all up in my crib. Can't stand you. Well, the feeling's mutual. Now get out! Oh, I'm leaving, Donovan. But don't you call me later talking about how sorry you are, because I don't want to hear it. It's over. Oh, and if you gave me some nasty ass disease, you're going to regret that for the rest of your life. This test is negative. What? No, it's not. It's got one line, see? Which means the test is negative. The test is negative, you idiot! Taking the long road Cause I can do bad all by myself I'm doing it